Okay, here's the progress on our renovation so far. There's my hubby. Never get a chance to get him on video. Hi, honey. <laughs> so, here's our front entrance. If you look up, we've got our balcony up there. There's the wonderful sewing studio. And then down that direction is all of some of the bedrooms. There's four bedrooms and four bathrooms upstairs. Or three bathrooms upstairs. So that's up in the balcony. This direction, this is gonna be our dining room. This used to be that orange color and we painted it a sage green. The bottom is just slightly darker than the top. You don't really notice it in the dark. But the chandelier made too much light in the video. So the chandelier has got to go, it is ugly. We're already starting to move some boxes in, but we can only move in what will fit on this blanket <laughs> because the flooring, the rest of the flooring hasn't been delivered yet. So that's our dining room and I love having the little windows above all of our entries into rooms. That way is living room, eating kitchen, and then around the corner is the kitchen to give you an idea. This is gonna be my husband's office. And this was bright red. We painted it two different tones, a lighter tone of brown and then a darker tone of brown. So two different tones of brown. We've got the windows in the front for nice lighting. Then, down that hall is just the guest bathroom and a closet. Those are getting renovated, but we haven't started them yet. My living room, my fireplace, which I absolutely love. 18 foot ceilings. We're not doing anything in this room other than getting the fireplace cleaned up and getting all the white trim um, painted. And you turn around and look up. There's my Juliet balcony to the upstairs. I love my Juliet balcony. Okay, and then you can see the kitchen. That's the eat-in area. See that bright orange? We did that all over the house. And so we have painted most of the rooms already. That's the eat-in area. Now the kitchen, we've completely torn out all the cabinets. You can see where all the cabinets used to be. I had lots of cabinets. <clears throat> this is going to be an entertainment bar with the wine fridge and cabinets up above for my china. That area that, where the wood's at, we're having that wood removed. There's a pantry on the other side and we're getting, putting the refrigerator there so the back of the refrigerator will butt into the pantry. Oh, I can have Hello Kitty gloves, it's cold up. And um, the refrigerator is gonna be, so it's even with the cabinets. And then the butt part of the back of the refrigerator will be actually framed into the pantry. But that's what the cabinets used to look like, really pale. They're solid wood, so we kept the island. And as you can see, the island used to come out to here. And so what we did is we chopped out two cabinet drawers and this used to be the end of the, the island, and we just pushed it back. So we just removed um, two drawers. The countertop is actually going to be the size of the island, and it's going to extend out over where you see the mismatched wood, so that we can put bar stools around it and have places for seating. So that is that. Okay, now I just came up the steps. That is going to be my son's game room. He doesn't want me showing his room laundry room, and then the master, and so you can see where we're at. There's the Juliet balcony, my sewing room, and there's another bedroom right here. So, okay, this is my master bedroom. It used to be, once again, an apricot orange. There's no light in here, so I apologize. They have a ceiling fan, no lights. Sitting area, we went one shade darker than our current walls. This is called blonde, yay! So we went blonde there, and then back there is called, um, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's one shade darker than the blonde. So then our tray ceiling, and the fireplace is right there. Flooring, we don't know when the flooring's coming. That's our holdup for moving in. We have a very ugly master bathroom, but it's not in the budget to fix it right now. We'll be doing that next year. So his countertop, Jacuzzi tub, closet, I'll show you that in a second because we did renovations in there. Shower, and then my sink. And then, yep, the wonderful toilet. You don't need to see that. Okay, this actually, next spring is getting removed. I don't like jacuzzi tubs. Believe it or not, I, I don't like jacuzzi tubs. So we're having a claw tub put 
in right there to save for room and my closet i haven't been in here since my husband started putting organizers in okay this used to be two closets as you can you can see that little line on the ground right there there used to be a wall that came here that separated the two closets my husband's starting to build my closet shelving he's starting to install them we're saving money we bought them at uh, Home Depot and we're installing them ourselves so instead of having two like his and her closets it is one big closet and the nice thing is is my husband is putting in these shelves and there's gonna be they're gonna be stacked up one here one on top and then another short one for nothing but purses and boots Yay! so that's my closet now back out of the master if you're not getting dizzy already there's my fireplace Let's go out and look over the balcony. There's my fireplace. I love my fireplace. And to the wonderful sewing room, yay! I am so excited to have a designated sewing room, finally. I'll be able to do a lot more videos now. And um, it's called Priscilla Pink. It was white before, I painted it nice pretty Priscilla pink and I'm gonna have black accents in here I have my walk-in closet there's no shelves in it just yet so I gotta have the shelves installed to organize my fabrics and then this is the bathroom I'm not gonna have time or it's not in the budget to to, to renovate this one but this got to get done after a while that paisley wallpaper does not match so and the nice thing is I have beautiful lighting natural lighting for once my videos won't be so dark yay now okay I'm gonna do it my son doesn't want me in his room but there's nothing in it yet so this used to be uh, lime green like a really pale girl lime green we painted it taupe and then we painted his bathroom we're getting a new light fixture put in but we painted his bathroom gray so this is my youngest son's bathroom and then his shower area is actually a lighter gray there's a new light fixture right there they haven't installed it yet and then it cuts through to his other room which is going to be his game room but he refers to it as his office he's 13 of course so this is his office he picked the color it's called movie theater red and then to keep with the theme of having an office we are going to open these doors we are going to make his closet into his office we're taking the doors off and we are actually installing a desk with shelves so he can have his office actually in the closet so we just came from the bathroom now back out into the hall my laundry room oh wow sorry about that nothing special just a laundry room Okay, so you've seen the first floor, you've seen the second floor. Now, let's head to the basement. Okay, as you can see, the flooring has not been installed yet because it hasn't showed up yet. So this is gonna be all carpet right here, the steps. And then this is all going to be hardwood floors. Now, let me get some lights on here for you. Should have done this before. There we go. Okay, so first thing we did is this used to be two separate rooms, you see? There's a, a room with a little octagon. You used to have a bench over there for an eating area. We had to have that removed. So it used to be two separate rooms with the bathroom right here. And what we did was we knocked out the two walls. Get back here so you can see it. Why don't fall over something? Okay. So we actually removed one wall there and one wall there. So there'll be a pillar in between just for support. They'd put a new I-beam up there. But um, we put an I-beam image or an I-beam up and then put a pillar in between. So these are gonna be now one big room. And we have um, hardwood floors, distressed looking hardwood floors coming, gonna be installed here. Over here, they've already got it marked on the wall so I can tell what's what. Makes it easier. I'm gonna have my wine my wine fridge there 
an under-the-counter refrigerator there, a full-size refrigerator here, and then we're gonna have, this is all cabinets here, and then we're having a sink, I'm not sure, someplace on this wall. So this is gonna be a mini kitchen down here and bar. We're gonna decorate it in old world, I guess is what my husband called it. Now, this bathroom, we, okay, we completely gutted the bathroom, took the tile out, took the vanity, took the toilet, took the bathtub and shower out, took it out, and when they dug up this hole, it's kind of freaky, and I'm kind of scared to walk over here. When they dug up this hole, they had scorpions. So I had to have the pest control person come and spray them. But thank goodness it's winter, and they're dormant. So, but there's a couple baby scorpions in there. Now this is a whole new area, a new hallway. This is the hallway, this is new. And how you can tell is, okay, see this line right there? There used to be a wall going across to a bedroom, and there's a small bedroom. So we removed this wall and this wall and bumped it out to expand it. As you can see, it expanded it quite a bit. We expanded it and then added a closet right there. And this is gonna be one of my son's, son's room. And you'll see the framing through the, through the inside of where the closet is now. That framing back there used to be the doorway into that back room. We moved the doorway over here into the hall. And then that back there is actually gonna be my husband's workout room. So this will be my son's bedroom in the basement. He's excited. So, furnace. That is the renovation so far. Oh, I forgot to mention. Okay, now you see that white line all along? That's how low the ceiling used to be, up to where the brown paint goes. That's how low the ceiling was in here. And it wasn't a drop ceiling, it was a sheetrock ceiling. I could raise my hands and touch the ceiling, the tip of my fingernails. So we had that removed and everything bumped up. So now we have taller ceilings in here. They're not so short. That's one thing I forgot to mention that we did. And then that area is going to be our poker room. We're gonna have a poker table and some chairs around it to play cards at night, so. Alrighty, well that is where we're at with our renovations so far. I hope you enjoyed our tour and I will definitely take pictures of the end product or the end of our renovations. So, all right, thanks so much. Talk to you all soon. You have a great day.